Hi friends, glad to see you on my channel. Today I will tell you about algae, which are found in almost every aquarium. I've already released several videos about green algae. If you come across them, it will be useful for you to watch these videos. And so before we start, please subscribe to the channel, I would really appreciate it. In an aquarium, various types of algae can occur. Algae are photosynthetic organisms that can thrive in aquatic environments, including fish tanks. Here are some common types of algae that you may encounter in an aquarium. 1. Green alga. Green algae are the most common type of alga found in aquariums. They can appear as a green film on the glass decorations or substrate of the tank. Green alga growth is often due to an imbalance of nutrients or excessive lighting. 2. Brown alga. Brown algae, also known as diatoms, are common in newly set up aquariums. They can form a brownish coating on the glass, substrate, and decorations. Brown alga growth is often related to low light conditions and high levels of silicates in the water. 3. Blue green algae, cyanobacteria. Blue green algae or cyanobacteria are not true algae, but can appear as slimy mats or films in the aquarium. They can range in color from greenish blue to black. Blue green alga growth is usually a sign of poor water quality high nutrient levels, or low water circulation. 4. Red alga. Red algae, also known as brush or beard algae, can appear as tufts or filaments that are reddish or purplish in color. They can attach themselves to plants, rocks, or other surfaces in the aquarium. Red alga growth is often associated with low levels of carbon dioxide, TO2, and poor plant health. 5. Green spot alga. Green spot algae form small, circular green spots on the glass, leaves of plants or other surfaces. They can be difficult to remove and are typically caused by an excess of light and nutrients. It's important to note that some alga growth is natural and can be a part of a healthy aquarium ecosystem. However, excessive alga growth can be unsightly, affect water quality, and harm the health of your fish and plants. Maintaining a balance of light, nutrients, and proper aquarium maintenance practices can help prevent and control alga growth. Regular water changes, proper filtration, and maintaining appropriate nutrient levels are key to keeping algae under control. Additionally, introducing algae-eating fish or invertebrates, such as certain species of snails, shrimp, or algae-eating fish, like Siamese algae eaters or plecos, can help keep algae in check. And that will be the end of it. Thank you all and goodbye.